Hey guys, we are back in FTL here on Pure Tactical Gaming. Um, trying to get the win on the hard mode. We're getting pretty close now. Uh, just before we jump back in, a uh, uh, very brief channel update. Um, uh, Overwatch will still be going up on Tuesdays, but and might be going up on Thursdays. Um, but at the moment, we're planning on doing a kind of a random kind of Thursday thing. Um, we've got some uh, Risk Factions recorded, which will go, be going up tomorrow and next week, and maybe a bit more if we record some more. We've also got some other stuff going up after that, so Thursday will kind of be like a random day, of just kind of whatever we've kind of played briefly, and if we don't have anything, it'll be just more Overwatch. But Overwatch will still continue on Tuesdays as normal. It's a quick change. Anyway, let's get back into it. Ooh, right, so... We are doing pretty well, if I remember correctly, on the second to last sector. Yep, the penultimate sector. Um, just got to try and not die from this point in. Get the last few upgrades we need. How are we looking for upgrades? Um, so, we got all the engine upgrades we wanted for now. We were going to do shields and then engines again. And maybe do some cloaking. Actually, cloaking is not that important, actually. The trick with cloaking is you want to keep it at the five seconds, uh, well, especially when you're doing the boss fight, because the boss fight has these uh, short periods of uh, overloading where it will spawn, I think, either lots of... Uh, how does it work? In, I think in the first wave there aren't any overloads. In the second wave you have either... Um, you have the loads of drones spawn for a short period of time and in the last phase you have loads of beams spawn um, in a short period of time now the thing is the period of time in which they spawn well the drones it's more than five seconds but you want to use five seconds cloaking anyway because if you time it right you can fully like protect yourself against the time period but more importantly because it only lasts for five seconds it, it comes out of cloaking and then it gives you a lot. It gives you more time for it to cool down because the cooldown is always the same, regardless of how long you cloaked for. So you want to keep your cloaking period short, so you've got more time to cool it down, ready for when the next overload is. Anyway, a bit of waffle there. Uh, what's the map looking like? Looks pretty decent. Uh, I think we will go through this nebula first, try and get some stuff as always. Um, okay, nothing here. Move on. Another thing about the final boss is they have the third wave has super shields, so this is why it's very important we've got this flak to get through those. Um, can't trade that. Oh, a store, good. Need to get some missiles, probably some repairs as well. Uh, we'll just check what they've got. Lifeform scanner is crappy. Zoltan shield bypass is actually kind of good. Hmm, you might want to get this. Because we can get through Super Shield. So this means we can do it a lot faster instead of waiting for the flak. Which could be... Yeah, I'm going to get this. That could be make or break, really. We need to get some more missiles. I want to fix up as well. We should be alright for fuel. We don't need any weapons. So we'll just get this last bit of repairs. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. Uh, is there anything else to sell, actually? No, we kind of want all of this. But this Zoltan Super Shield Bypass should... Could. Save our... Hides. Um, yeah, we'll do this. Trade by scrap. Easy money. We'll get along the bottom here quite quickly so we can get it back up to the top for the exit. Uh, we'll never surrender. What have these guys got? They've got a fair amount of crew, but... I mean, they've got a fair amount of weaponry, but they don't have much crew. We can always just... Um, oh, I forgot to put my... Sorry about this. Uh, just put this on uh, busy. I had it on busy before, and I took it off. <laughs> I couldn't. Uh, idiot me. Uh, okay, we've got some cool stuff. We don't need this guy. Yes, go away. That guy can just own the slaver ship if he wants. Good. 
already we've got almost exactly the same amount of scrap we had before. Just let these guys heal up. I'm not sure if the power of the med bay correlates to the speed that these guys heal through the NG med box first of all. I think that might be true, but we don't really have the scrap to upgrade that just yet. Because we want to focus on upgrading our other stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a shop. Um, I want to get this as well now. Um, these are all kind of crappy. Wait, so we can install these even though we don't have any slots? That's interesting. Not that we really need these. Um, I just want to get this reconstructed teleport. Fuck it, I'm getting this. Might be a bit greedy, but it really helps speed things up. Uh, another store, that's not very really helpful. Annoyingly, we've got to go through here to get to the quest, so whatever. But nothing here is there. There's a heal bomb, which is kind of interesting, but no, we don't need that. I don't have anything to any scrap. Let's get any more missiles, so whatever. We move on. Uh, nice, got some more stuff. Can we survive? One, two, so it'd be one, two. This is one, two. I think we could get a third beacon in. I risk it. I want to get as much scrap, really. Kill these guys, shouldn't be difficult. Uh, we need to hard charge up our breach bomb. Um, if they time this right, they could get past our shield, but we can always cloak. But it will time it right, so let's do it now. Um, I'm about to start charging, get ready to jump in. There goes their beam weapon uselessly. There we go. Caught these guys. It's a matter of time now before they're all dead. Again, the beam does nothing. Good for us. These guys are all dying. Nice. Good scrap. Good scrap. Now these guys come back fully healed. We don't have to spend time charged, uh, healing them, which is really nice. It also means that in the final battle, when we're trying to do a lot of fighting, going back and forth, we don't have to spend a long time healing them. We just have to wait for the med bay to cool down. Right. Um, I want to rest rent to these guys for what these guys got. Uh, do they? They don't even have a med bay. Oh, they have a clone bay, alright. We've got our engines, that's annoying. Means we can't dodge. And it means we lose our 10% because the guy can't work the console. That's really annoying. When this rocket fires, we'll use our shield. Because I'm not all about getting hit by that. Okay, clone bay is down, that's good. Let's kill this guy. There we go. Nice. Lots of scrap, lots of scrap. Back to full health, good. Um, just a bit more and then we can upgrade shields. This looks like we should get away with this. <laughs> Hopefully. Come on, more scrap. Oh, so many slavers here, Jack. What the hell? No, we're not going to surrender to them. Okay, we'll let them come aboard, we'll kill them, and then we'll teleport off. These guys have got a lot of lasers, what the hell? Interesting. Need to charge up breach bomb as well. Might as well just cloak here. Actually, that might have been a bad idea, now they're all going to charge at the same time. <laughs> oh well. Right. Get the breach bomb in. Good thing is the reconstructed teleport works both ways, so we don't have to wait to heal them. You can just send them in and kill them. Nice. Um, again, we don't need any of these guys. Alright. Actually, is that a good idea to get rid of this guy? No. No, I don't think so. 
If it had been a level 2, I probably would have done, but not for level 1. Get these guys back. Uh, <laughs> that is just, just good enough. Oh, I'm 10 scrap short. That's annoying. I mean, power short. Ah, oh, that works anyway. As long as you're not powering the defense through. Um, right, last sector, here we go. Whew. Hope we don't get wrecked here. <laughs> I really don't. This has been such a good run. Okay, we've got some fuel, that's kind of nice. Right, so... We can spend a bit of time here jumping about and get some more scrap. Oh, that's annoying. Can kill this guy, but it'll just take us a while. The cloaking lasts forever, damn. They're gonna charge everything. And then we're just gonna say nope. Uh, we want to attack. We need to attack their weapons, really. You can't not. Tempted to launch a drone here. Uh, what can we sacrifice? We don't need this, we don't need this. We'll get rid of one engine to get the defense train out. Ah, oh, shit, that's a good point. They've got shields that I can't get past. I'm really dumb. <laughs> Gotta get their shields down first. Is this a waste of missiles? It probably is. I think we should just jump away from here. Oh well. These, this is what I wanted. Uh, get our weapons back up. Let them teleport on, see where they're going up there. Okay, attack. Oh, shield is still on cooldown, that's annoying. Please don't hit. Fuck you. Okay, our cloaking is. No, we need. Get this ready. The doors is fine actually, we don't need the doors up. Okay, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, miss, fuck. Ooh, that was close. Do we want the defense train up? No, we can't really afford it, I don't think. No, we don't have the. <laughs> Didn't have the things anyway now. Right, let's get in here. Still slow, charge the weapon slow. Ah, oh, we got it, okay, nice. Even managed to damage the guy a little. Nice. Ooh, took a bit more damage. Right. Let's get everyone on repairing. Bit of damage there. We might want to go to the pair jump now. <coughs> okay, everything repaired. Good. All right. Question is, what do we want to upgrade for the final fight? Do we just want more power bars? I think we do. Okay, here's what we can do. We can go to the repair, jump to here, try and get a bit more, and then jump to here. They have to be at the base for about three turns. Ah, oh, look at this. Nice. So we'll be able to catch them. Uh, oh, we could have got something that was a bit foolish of me. Oh, well. Let's fight the rebel ship. So what have they got? Clone Bay. Alright, we can jump in before them. We've just got four humans. That's easy enough. Oh, I don't... These things... I'm pretty sure these things just shoot down drones, so... Actually, the bombs teleport in anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> nice. 
another emergency repair station. Well, we don't really need that, so it's fine. Okay, right, so... We will attack them next. So what do we want? What do we want? Could get another upgrade to the engines, that's not a bad shout. Can upgrade the teleporter again. Could do doors. No, I think we want engines and this. Now we're up to 48%. I think that's worth. Alright, let's do this. First wave. This is the most important wave. <laughs> Just FYI. Uh, okay. Well, that's whatever. Oh, I hate the engines. That's annoying. Fuck off. Uh, we want. We need to get our defense train up. I just realised. <laughs> right. Okay. Need to get the breach bomb charged so we can jump in. Okay, good. Oh, missed. Damn. Didn't want that. Did not want that. Oh, now that shield uh, invisible as well. These missiles could hit us quite hard here. Oh, come on! What the hell? Ugh, comes in at the perfect angle so my defense drain can't do shit and it starts. Fucking fires everywhere, you kidding me. Uh Okay, I'm gonna keep this. Put the fucking fire out, come on. Think that should be fine. Oh, oh, the missiles are still spreading. Jesus Christ! It's fucking fire. Jesus. This could be the end of the run just because it's ridiculous fire. Why are they taking that way round? Where is he going? Oh, it's because he's trapped in the room because of hacking. Look at this fire, man. This isn't fair. Come on. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Fuck the missiles. We can, we can survive without them wrecking us. Okay. The fires are out, good. Uh, the oxygen will come back soon enough. And they've got reconstructed teleports, that's fine. Let's get everyone back in position. This guy just fires way back in. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, well, come on! And it missed again! Jesus! Ah! This game hates me. This game fucking hates me. And now they've gone shield cloaked. Dodge these here. Get this back online. Get this repaired. Get him back in there. Get him back in there. Right, come on, breach bomb. I can't have too many more misses. I've only got a certain amount of rockets. Oh, come on. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Leave the breach bomb for now. Is it even worth destroying the ion and that? Don't think it is, you know. No, we don't want to destroy those guys anyway. Regardless.
Okay, that was kind of lucky. Gee, what are these? <laughs> these rockets, man! I don't remember them being like starting fires every single time. It's ridiculous. Thank you. Good, they're coming in dribs and drabs, that's really good for us. Oh shit, my ship, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Ooh, that's ugly. Oh, not the oxygen. Who's dying? Sam. Switching these guys around. Need to get ready to evacuate these guys. I thought I got this guy out of here. Slugman can stay. <laughs> He's trapped in there anyway. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Get these guys out, they're now healed. Good. What the hell? Why won't this guy go over here? Is it just me or is he just ignoring orders at this point? No, that's fine I guess. He needs to get back to captaining. He can stay and repair for a bit actually. Right, we want... there's only one guy left. Um. Sorry about that, my game likes to dab out randomly sometimes. <laughs> Don't know what causes it. Okay, quick, let's go. We need to get these missiles offline. He's dead, good. Right, let's get to the beams. Once I get these offline, then I should be fine for the rest of the game. Need to get the doors repaired. <laughs> get rid of this fire. Okay, nice. We're going to keep him here for now. I don't need the breach bomb anyway. Once I get these weapons down, then we'll be fine. Right, I need to get rid of these doors. These doors are annoying. Right, these guys can go get shields. Once we get them down, we can start bombing them with flak. Okay, we've taken a lot of damage, but I think we're alright. As I said, the first wave is the hardest if you're doing this kind of strategy. Because it's just getting the people killed in the main area is just such a bull lake. Essentially, if I'm. What should happen next, unless I've forgotten this and I've made a massive balls up, what should happen next is. Uh, We'll, well, we'll destroy these systems, and we'll destroy the ship using flak. We'll leave these two guys alive. I think the beam section gets broken off first. No, it's this section gets broken off first. Basically, this, this section breaks off, so this guy just dies. Thing is, this guy survives, and he'll be the only one left alive when we encounter the ship again. Uh, do we need to do anything more here? Uh, we'll actually let's get rid of piloting so they don't have a dodge chance. Let's get rid of hacking because it's annoying. So what will happen is on wave two, we'll be able to come aboard the ship, destroy everything, kill them, whatever, and they'll just have this one crappy guy in the beam doing fucking shit all. So that'll be fine. The third wave, however, this section will break off, so they'll have no one alive on the ship, which means that the ed enemy AI takes over and starts auto repairing stuff, which is why we want to leave these guys alive. Because until then, 
they won't have an AI. They'll only have an AI on the last wave. And by then, we should be good enough to just kill them anyway. Okay. Uh, time to just flack them to death. Uh, doesn't really matter where. We'll just hit an area with a good chance to hit. Just a waiting game now. We can't be destroyed. Oh. I say I was getting kind of anxious there about the bomb hitting <laughs> the med bay. I'm just a bit worried that the enemies will respawn. I can't quite remember how it works. Well, I know that it, the way in which it used to work before they added in the DLC, which was that all of these rooms were uh, separated from the rest of the ship, which means you could just teleport onto the weapons and kill them all, and you just leave the guy in the beam alive for all three waves. Then they change it, so these are now... You have to kill these guys as well, which is kind of annoying. But I think it still works. If I just leave this guy alive, he'll be the only one left for next wave. Still stuck in that same room. Just hoping that the people don't respawn. If the people respawn, then it's quite possible that we've lost. <laughs> but I don't think they do, so we should be fine. Uh, oh, so whoops, I forgot to put this on auto fire. I was like, why are we not doing anything? <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Just let this silly work. We'll also get um, a bit more scrap, I think, for killing this guy, hopefully. Which he, we should use on doors, really. That, that, that early missile strike where we throw all those fires was devastating. Of course, we don't want to destroy O2 because that will just suffocate these guys. There we go, that's that dead. First wave complete, nice. It's got some scrap, which we can use for doors, unless we want to use it for something else. Um, no, I think we want doors, really. Just to make sure we are secured. Do we have to... Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, why isn't this powering up? I didn't realise that it paused. <laughs> Oh man, I'm an idiot. Right. There's nothing more we can do, is there? No. Right. Jump. Here we go again. Please. Okay, yes, this guy's the only one left alive. Okay, so we need to jump aboard. You want to take out their missiles and get these guys to go to the beams. Now this is where we'll see the um Oh. I don't remember this. Okay, we're gonna have to distract this guy. We don't need weapons for now. Okay, we'll have to take out drones next. Because this is annoying. <laughs> okay, this is what I was talking about before, these power surges. Quick get to drones. Who's dying? Oh no. Basically, when our shields go down, that's when we activate our cloaking. Looks like we'll be alright, actually. Okay, they took out. We're going to let this guy out of here into the mid base. Oh, we've, we've taken out the drones. <laughs> we just need to repair this now. Now I have taken these guys out of piloting, so this will be quite devastating. Let's use this. Good. Get these guys back to doing their jobs. Nice. Okay. Uh, see, look how easy this is <laughs> compared to last wave. Because of this guy being dead. Being alive and not causing any annoyance. See, even with this power surge, they can't even get through my shields. I'm going to activate this just in case. <laughs> I was getting a bit worried there, but I'm pretty sure we would have been fine. Um, okay, we'll leave these guys. Just let's destroy this. Give our flak a good chance to get through. Um, I don't want to hit anything like the O2, so I'm just going to fire it here for now. Why am I not? Oh, right, let's get this extra charge. 
chance. Dodge. Okay, good. Position it here so make sure all three hit. And again, it's just a waiting game. Unless we, I think there's no chance that the power surface can kill us. Even if they do get through shields, they can always just cloak. Our dodge chance is like 50%, so half of these are going to miss. And we got four shields. Okay, next wave will be down next. Now, I can't quite remember what's in wave four. They get a teleporter, which is going to be useless because they don't have any dudes, so that's fine. I think they also get mind control, which could be a bit annoying, but I think we can deal with it. Okay, good, good. Let's move on. Jumping here, so we'll jump the same. Okay, here we go. We could have... Oh, no, we could have upgraded something. Here. Okay, they controlled our captain. That's fine. Jump aboard in missiles again. Nicely, we've got the uh, shield bypass, which is really... I think that was a really good purchase, actually, because we'd have had to have waited for the flak to just slowly grind it down, which would have could have been potentially disastrous. Um... Just thinking, how much damage is this guy doing? They might control the Engi, which is quite useful, because he does shit all damage. <laughs> okay, we're going to get this guy in and start dancing around. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want to use my... Oh shit, he destroyed it. I wasn't paying attention, that's my bad. Oh, it actually hit me. Are you kidding me? 60% dodge. Thought would have done better there. This guy's still mind controlled. Come on! Fuck off! Okay, okay. I don't care about the med bay for now. Right, these guys need to destroy mind control because holy shit, that's annoying. Look at these guys, please. Piloting them all rendezvous on the shields. Actually, I'll start destroying those super shields because I can. Uh, get the defense drain back up. Mm. Med bay being destroyed like that is kind of annoying. Oh shit, I forgot they're auto repairing, aren't they? Oh, don't control him! That means I can't destroy the warrior. This is the problem with the uh, final thing. As I said, the. Um... Okay, mind control is down, good. Fuck mind control. It's unbelievably annoying. Get these back destroyed. Yes, nice. Right, get these guys to destroy this again. These guys are going to sit in mind control to make sure that shit didn't get destroyed. Actually, no, we need to destroy this. Power surge detected. I don't have my thing recharged. Okay, good. The shield wings. No! Fuck off! They stop killing each other. Oh, not this as well. Okay, that's fine. You know, I just dodge this one. Oh, okay, they just recharged their super shield. That will happen as well, which is kind of annoying. Down. I'm going to move the flak over here just because I don't want the um, my dudes getting hit. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> He's going to spend a while repairing that. It's kind of useless, which is nice for us. Oh, no, we need to get this destroyed. Might as well cloak here, just to make sure we don't get hit. Get these guys back on destroying the shield. Let's get everyone on destroying the shield. Have to watch out for this. Also need to watch out on their health, they could die and cloak as we can. 
Oh my god, the mind control is so annoying. Let him repair it. Ooh, shit. Stop the flak a second. I don't want these guys died. Quick. Getting everyone the hell out of here. We are leaving this ship! Die! Yes! We did it! Woo! <laughs> ah! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you fuck up the hard mode. See you moving, Hart, Charlie, Cremity, Seb, Mullet, Kala, Kapalka, and Phillips. Nobody died. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Feels good. Feels good. That was probably one of the best possible runs, to be honest. We got so lucky in that, uh, in that, um, first couple of sectors my god you got <laughs> you got so much good stuff oh man mm. oh well thanks for watching that ladies and gentlemen uh, i hope this has been helpful to you to those of you trying to play hard mode or maybe just fdl in general and it's quite an unforgiving game with a very steep learning curve i i think Everyone who's played FTL knows of the days of starting off not knowing what the fuck you're doing and just dying on the first sector over and over again. And then slowly working your way forward and getting your first win and X, Y, Z. And then trying normal mode and it like, feels impossible and then trying hard mode and it feels impossible as well. It is an unforgiving game. There are lots of RNG, but if you play it right, it's not too bad, <laughs> he says. Uh, anyway, we did it. We got a win on hard mode with my favourite ship. And nobody died. That was the nice thing as well. Um, also, and as I said, you know, the last boss fight, it's so much... If you're playing with a uh, teleportation strategy like I was, uh, the first wave is by far the hardest because you have to deal with all the people, which is around Bollock Ball Lake. Luckily, we didn't miss too many times with the bomb. We did actually get it in the end. Um, so, yeah. If you're doing teleportation, it's just about killing the people on the first wave. After that, the last two waves, as you saw, were relatively easy. They are kind of annoying on the last wave with mind control, but it's not too bad. Um, if you're not doing a mind control run, though, the first wave is quite easy. I think they're more balanced um, if you're not doing a mind control run. Because you lose, like, they lose weapons the further you go in, but they gain the overcharge powers. Although I think, if I remember correctly, it is it does get slowly harder. Although I think the second wave might be the most annoying because of all those drones. I can't quite remember. It's been a while since I've done it on a normal run because, as I, if you probably noticed, uh, teleporting is by far my most favourite way of killing <laughs> enemy ships. More fun. Anyway, um, this will probably be the end of my... FTL series now. I did say at the start I was just going to try until I got a win on hard mode which is what we've now achieved. Um, not sh quite sure what I'm going to do next. Um, as before, it's, it'll just be up on a Wednesday my Wednesday slot. Um, I was thinking of maybe doing some Invisible Link because I played a bit of that recently. Played a short campaign. Uh, I might try doing that on like Expert Plus or something. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do like an Expert Plus Play through and tr keep trying until I get a win on that. <laughs> that might be quite interesting. Um, other than that, I'm not sure. Me and Josh have played a bit of um, Europa Universalis 4, uh, which we're complete novices at. We don't know what the hell we're doing, but it's <laughs> kind of fun. Maybe we'll record something in that in the future, although I think I'll get Josh to record that because um, it'll probably be a bit smoother. He's got his computer's better than mine, <laughs> quite simply. Um, Aside from that, I can't think of anything else. Although, it'll probably be Invisible Ink now I think about it, but there could be something I suddenly decide to play. Um, unless, <laughs> if anyone is actually still watching at this point, you know, if you is there something particularly you wanted me to play, put it in the, uh, the comments. Uh, no guarantees I'll play it, because obviously I'll need to A, have the game, and B, want to play the game, but <laughs> there we are. Um, but yeah, 
I don't know, no promises. But there'll definitely be something up next Wednesday from me. Um, I'm just going to let <laughs> credits run. We're almost there. <laughs> I do like watching the credits actually in this game. Mostly because the music is fantastic in this game. Um, but also I like seeing all the different people who worked on it and all their nicknames. And you can pick out the um, the nicknames they used for the characters in game. Which is always quite funny. And there we are. 4,561 score. Let's have a look at that. Um, I didn't even get to my top scores list. <laughs> so, that's not bad. I didn't beat my other score on Victory Hard Mode, but I, I <laughs> don't remember what that was. Although we did get, we managed to get this achievement on Hard Mode. Was it this one? No. It was this one we got, Take No Prisoners, I remember now. I think I had it previously on Normal, not Hard. But there you are. Um, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> achievement. Anyway, thank you for watching that one, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back next, back next week with something else. Hope you enjoyed the series. Hope it's been helpful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.